what is up guys welcome on back to my channel today I am in the Mustang um, I haven't been posting any videos uh, with the Miata due to the fact that the Miata got rod knock um, I was having a couple of issues to where the car would shut off on me um, and then when I would start it back up the car would start right back up perfectly fine um, uh, the day that I got rod knock I drove it to the shop uh, to Rob, we he had he checked it out. Um, couldn't get the uh, the issue to reenact or to happen again to where the car would shut off on me. I uh, drove it around the block by his shop. Couldn't get the you know it drove perfectly fine. Couldn't get the issue to happen again, uh, which led to being that the car was okay, just some issue. Um, drove it around some more. Wasn't beating on it or anything. Uh, later that night when I was going back home I was on the freeway in the slow lane doing about 65 70 and I started to hear this loud knock uh, late, not even a little bit up the road the car shut off on me and left me stranded uh, I had to call a tow truck and uh, the following day I started it back up and I'll throw a clip right here uh, you hear the car knocking. Um, so that being said, uh, the Miata needs a new motor it will the Miata will need a new motor I'm already trying to see what I'm gonna go with um, also I wanted to make a quick comment uh, when you're building a car make sure that you're within the budget of what you need um, if not go ahead and wait a little longer so you could have enough money to build the car and build it properly um, I had a budget that I you know had and I told Rob I could only I didn't want to spend so much so we try to do the bare minimum to get the car running uh, keep in mind he was there to help me build the car so he didn't necessarily build the car so there's there's no blame towards him or anything um, I wanted to you know do the work myself while he was there watching me making sure I did it right um, so we're definitely gonna go back to Rob to his shop um, you know haven't quite yet decided which way I want to build this car right but I have something in mind um, so it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time due to the fact that I spent uh, quite a bit of money on the car initially to buy the car plus you know buying the motor and everything so we're definitely so it's definitely going to take a little longer this time around hopefully within a month or so the car is back up and running versus when I first bought it I was running within a month of ownership make sure you check out Rob's channel uh, his channel is sideways performance on YouTube and uh, on Instagram uh, go ahead and uh, follow him uh, he shows you uh, quite a f uh, quite a bit on his builds on you know builds he does for customers on is 300s uh, gs 300s or not gs 300s uh, sc 300s uh, s 13s and s 14s and also supras uh, for that fact so go ahead and uh, follow him let him know that you go leave him a comment let him know that you're coming from my channel that way he knows that I'm um, showing him love um anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button peace